guys, welcome back once again. Today I have another makeup kind of video in store for you. I recently purchased the 7 Deadly Sins collection from Deadly Sins Cosmetics, which is run by the lovely, the lovely Elise, Elise? Elise. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Boyle, and who was in the NYX Face Awards with me in the first year that it was in Australia and New Zealand. And she is lovely, she is all about vegan and cruelty free. And her and her partner recently just came out with this brand and I thought I'd show some support to her as, as I prefer to support a brand that I do know where it's come from and who is producing it than giving my money to some overseas brand that I just don't really know the story behind. But this is the packaging, I'll see if you can see it without shining the light all over it. It is really nice and simple. It's kind of got a galaxy theme to it. If you can kind of tell, I hope that came across on camera. But the first product that she did launch in her brand was some liquid lipsticks. Now I know I'm going to butcher the name of these because they do have meaning to, of course, the Seven Deadly Sins, I'm pretty sure. These, of course, are the colours that she did start with, so they're uh, kind of like two brownie pinky neutrals, there's a red, some pinks, a purple, and I think maybe like a light pink? Yeah, a really quite light pink. You should know me by now, red is my favourite. I will be putting that on last as I will kind of check in with you throughout the day and show you how well it lasts. But I will of course swatch all the others. So the one I'm going to start with is a lovely kind of hot pink. It is called Ira, I believe. I get so anxious about trying to pronounce names of things that I'm just not 100% sure on. But I do believe this is Ira. I-R-A. I don't know how much you can pronounce it. But one thing I did notice, I did take one of the lipsticks out of the packaging yesterday when I got it. And it is, it comes with an extra insert of like protection in it. This little like corrugated bit of cardboard. And I haven't seen that before in like liquid lipstick packaging. And I think that's a really nice little bit of touch to it to make sure it's extra protected. Now the actual design of the product is really nice and simple. It's just black and then fading to translucent so you can actually see the colour of the lipstick in it. Now I will of course leave a link to the actual brand Instagram down below so you can check it out and go give them their support. Now it is just a pretty stock standard applicator, like there's nothing too fancy about it. So I will of course swatch them on my arm and then I will swatch them on my lips also. So I'll go ahead and just swatch them all on my arms first and then I'll go through and swatch them on my lips. So they are all the swatches. Wow, how do people do this? I can't... Oh, I have to spin. So there are the swatches. At the top we have Ira and then Gula? G-U-L-A? Oh my god. Then we've got Nvidia? Invidia, please let me know down below if you do know how to pronounce these if I'm absolutely butchering them. Averidia? Averidia? When I actually swatch them on my lips, I will look up how to pronounce them, I promise. And then we've got Akedia? Acedia? Oh god, I'm terrible. And then we've got Superbia, which is this nice kind of deep reddish brown. And then last but not least, we've got Luxuria. They seem to be drying down to a really nice matte finish, which I do love with lipsticks. I prefer to be able to add gloss on top and have a really glossy, non-drying lip. But I'm going to wipe these off before I smear them all over myself. And they did wipe off pretty decent. I did scratch myself there. That is not a stain. Which is pretty impressive. Most liquid matte drying lipsticks that I have tried do stain a little bit if they do stay on all day. So I will let you know the longevity of them as well. But I'm pretty impressed with how easily they came off. So I will start with Ira, I'll put this on, and then I'll do you a I'll do you a little. I'll show you a little bit of how it looks on.
So that was only one time going over my lips with it. It does have really nice pigmentation and it is drying down very fast, which I do like. It does seem to not be transferring like onto my teeth or anything, which is always really nice because I always get lipstick on my teeth. It is astounding. But I will wait for it to fully dry and I'll do a little bit of like a rub on my finger and see what comes off. So I'll give it another minute or two and then I'll show you. So now it has it completely dried down, I will do a little bit of a rub. There is pretty much no transfer whatsoever. Like kissing the back of my hand, there is absolutely nothing. So I do think that this would last fairly well if you were drinking throughout the day and stuff. I'm not sure how it will hold up with eating, but I will show you when I do put on the red one. Oh. A varita? Oh god. I'll let you know how it's pronounced before this video ends, I promise. I do really like this colour and I don't usually go for pink. But this is a really nice, like a purpley pink. I think I can actually pull this off for like an everyday look. Now I will see how easy it does come off and I will show you how easy it comes off. This is just a little bit of micellar water. A little cotton round. Now I did find that that did actually come off reasonably easy. I do have quite dry lips though, so it was kind of catching to some of the drier parts of my lips, but it has come off reasonably well. I only had to use one makeup round. Now I'll throw the other pinky color and this is Luxuria. Now these two colors are reasonably similar, but there is that slight kind of difference to them. I do like both of them. As I said before, I don't usually go for a pinky kind of lip. But these kind of have those nicer, deeper undertones to them that they don't seem as kind of prominent on my face. I do really like the formula of these lipsticks so far. It goes on so smooth, it's not patchy so far for the two that I've tried. I do know that the darker the colour, sometimes the patchy it does get. But it's literally been like one swipe, like one dip into the lipstick on the bottom and one dip onto the top. And there's been plenty of product come out on that. Now, I do not admit to being the best for lip swatches. I just put it on, I don't get too pedantic about it. If it's a little bit off on the side, it's fine. You get the gist, guys. I'm not here to be a lip model. I'm here just to show you what the product actually looks like. So please don't be too harsh on my poor efforts of putting lipstick on. So now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna put on Nvidia. I did look this up, that is how you pronounce it. Same with Luxuria. I was actually pronouncing it right. Surprise, surprise. Now this looks like a nice kind of deep purple, which is also one of my favorites. I keep saying what my favorite colors are. I just love lip colors. It doesn't matter if it's bright, if it's dark. I just, it's, they're just all so fun to me. Now if anyone's gonna be patchy, I feel like this color could be, just because I do see a lot of similar colors to this. Be a little bit streaky, a little bit patchy, but we'll see how we go. Now I will admit this is not as patchy as I was expecting it to be. I mean it could just be the way that I'm applying it. I am only doing one coat. Maybe if you do do a second or a third or anything like that, you could completely get rid of it. But I really don't think it's that noticeable. Like somebody just looking at you wouldn't be able to pick up on it but because I can get real close to my own lips. I can see a little bit. Now I do probably put that more to me applying it a little bit <sighs> slap happy. Like it's just on kind of thing. It's not like I'm taking my time and making sure it's all even. I do find that a lot of lip liquid lipsticks can tend to be a little bit patchy. Like I do find my Kat Von D Everlasting a Go Go Orange lipstick can be a little bit patchy compared to Kat Von D Everlasting our really bright red lipstick, which I do not find patchy at all. But I mean, from here, I really don't think you can see anything too drastic. I do think it is just to do with the colour as such. I do notice a lot of these kind of deep purple lipsticks. <laughs> I've got a little off, that's all. Off cuts? Lots of colour all over my finger, it's, I do apologise, but I mean it is ever so slightly patchy, but it's not enough to make me not want to wear it. Like it's not something that I find would be that noticeable to somebody else, but I can see it on myself. If you kind of get what I mean, it's like when you do your own makeup, you can see that things just aren't quite even, but to anyone else looking, it's not that noticeable. I do really like how all of these are drying down super matte. Like they don't make my lips feel dry as such. I mean, my lips are dry anyway. I don't notice it anymore, but they're just, they're not coming off on transfer at all, which is incredible. I am really, really impressed with these. So next up, I am trying Superbia. Superbia, I did think it was Suburbia, as in like Suburban, but it's definitely 
superby. And this looks like a nice, like, deepy reddish brown. I do really like this colour. It is like a nicer deep. A nicer deep. Why did I just get semi-Italian? A nice deep kind of red, nice sultry kind of colour to go with a nice evening glam kind of look. Like I think it goes really nice with the eye look that I do have on today. And again, it's taken like a minute if that to dry down. It is super fast. So I mean, your working time is not really high, but I have no problems kind of putting it on at the pace that I do, as long as you do kind of do the bottom first and then do the top lip like most normal people kind of do one lip at a time. So now I'm gonna put on a Cedia, which is kind of like this nice light neutral brown. Like if you're wanting a nice nude lip, this looks like a perfect color for it. So this isn't quite as light as I thought it might have been, I don't really like brown lips. I mean, I don't mind them, and I know that they have their place in looks, but this is not something that I typically, typically, wow, I cannot speak at all, typically go for if I'm just wearing a nice set of lips for the day. I mean, I easily use it in glam looks and stuff like that, but it's just not personally a lip colour that I usually go for, unless I was going for like a nice kind of grungy look. But I will admit it's not patchy at all, the formula dries the same as the rest. And I really don't mind the way that it does look on me, but I just prefer to go something a little bit bright and a little bit colourful. So next up is Gula, which is this nice light kind of pink. Potentially maybe like a slight purple undertone, I will see how it dries down. The colour of the sticker does look slightly more pink compared to what's actually in the bottle. Well, let's see. Yeah, to me this looks more like, like a bit of a lilac. Now, to me this is more purple than pink. I feel like the sticker is a little bit more pink than this. I mean, it does look more like what's in the bottle though. I don't mind it. I don't usually like really kind of pale pinks and purples and blues as I do feel like it just makes me look sickly. But I would use this in like an ombre look lip to try and add a little bit of light to it or something like that. I do like the formula. It's not patchy. It dries kind of the same as the rest. However, it's just not a lipstick that I'd go for every day. And then again, maybe with the right eye look, not this one, it might actually kind of suit the face. So next up is the nice red lipstick that I've been waiting to do, Lucky Last, which I believe is pronounced Avericia? Avericia? Not Averidia, like I was saying. Oh, I know I'm butchering it. Avericia? Let me know down below how badly I'm butchering that word. I do really like this one. It does have, it's not like a really vivid red. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's almost a little bit peachy, which is really nice for a change. I don't have a red lipstick quite like this, which I guess if you are doing a line of lipsticks, you don't want something that everyone already has. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by the slight peachiness to it. I just didn't expect it and it is really, sorry, I keep looking at my lips in the mirror. It is really quite nice, but it is astounding how fast this actually dries down to me. Like this is, it's taken a minute and a half, like from fully applying it to looking at it to talking to you, it is fully set in that time. Now each individual lipstick does retail for I believe 24 Australian dollars. Which, I mean, is not the cheapest lipstick, but I do think it is 100% worth it. They are vegan, cruelty free, and really nicely pigmented. You can, of course, buy the seven pack for $140, which is $4 cheaper for each single lipstick. So you do save $28, is that correct? Five sevens are 35, no. Yeah, yeah, 28 bucks, that is correct, man. I'm just, I'm losing it. Which, if you do spend over $80, you do get free shipping Australia-wide. Just to clarify, not well, but Australia-wide. But just to clarify, I did pay for these. I was not gifted these. This is not a sponsored video. I paid my own money to support a brand. And they're incredible. And I can't actually wait to see what else they come out with. Next, I will, of course, also link their website down below. Sorry, my tips and my fingers are got color from all the lipsticks on it down below just so you can check it out. Now I'm gonna go get on with my day and I will, I will, I will check in with you later just to show you how the lipstick is holding up. I will not reapply at all. I will check in with you before I do, if I do wanna reapply. But I am just chilling around home today. It's nothing too drastic. I'm gonna go make some food. I'm gonna go eat the food. And then I'll check in with you. What's the time now? It is 12.30, yet, so I will check in with you in like maybe three hours or four hours, five hours, six hours, who knows. 
I'll let you know when I do. Okay, so here we go guys. It is now five o'clock pretty much on the dot. And this is how it looks. It has gone away from kind of the corner of my lips and the actual tops of, and bottoms of my lips, if that's what you call them. The inside, right where the food would touch. But I will admit, I did eat greasy food and you know, the only way to get makeup off is usually with some kind of oil. So I, I did not expect it to stand up to that. I have not reapplied though, so it did do a really good job for the amount of food that I ate. And I did have chips, I had all those naughty things that you shouldn't be eating, and I had it. And it stood up reasonably well. And I mean, to go out for a night or a day or an event of some kind, and not actually have the lipstick there to reapply as you go is kind of irresponsible if you're going to commit to such a bright lip. So I mean, it's impractical to be like, this is what it looks like after a whole day's wear. This is terrible. It's not. Nothing's meant to last that long. It has held up really well. If I was to have, I'm not throwing shade at any other companies, but let's just say, let's just say I was wearing a NYX's little denim dress. It does not set matte like this does. It stays kind of quite tacky. If I was drinking it, it'd come up in the glass. This does not. If I was to eat fried chicken with this lipstick, It'd be everywhere, it'd be gone, it'd be terrible. And I do apologize, it looks like the corner of my eyelash is coming up. Oh, oh, oh. I want to take all my makeup off. So I'm gonna quickly finish this, take my eyelashes off, and then edit it and upload it for you guys. But I mean, like, even after the days where after I ate the greasy food and I patted off all the rest of the oil and stuff, I mean, it's still not transferring really at all. There is the slight kind of just little bits where the oil would have been. I'm still pretty impressed with the longevity of it. If I hadn't just been going out to an event and just drinking, it would have held up perfectly fine. But because I'm a little fatty boomba, I decided I needed to eat fried chicken to really push this lipstick to its limits. But in case you didn't know, I did start another Instagram account that is just dedicated to beauty looks. So if you would like to see this eye look and all of the swatches for these beautiful lipsticks, I will be posting them there. So go check this out. I will also leave a link to all of my social medias down below so you can go follow them if you feel the need. Now I never wear makeup this long, so I'm about to take it off and enjoy it. Not having makeup on my face. The eyelash is goddamn terrible. I apologize, but I'm not fixing it just to say goodbye. If you are looking for a vegan, cruelty-free, beautiful matte lipstick brand, this is a definite recommendation on my behalf. You should definitely, even if you're not ready to buy any lipsticks, just go check it out. Got heaps of information about their website on the, about their brand on the website, not their website on the brand, that doesn't make sense. And as well, I'll leave a link to their Instagram down below to go, just go show them some love guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.